Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Alathrix. And of course, welcome back to the Missile Launcher update. In today's episode, we're just going to be testing out a few types of bots to see exactly what type of bot I want to build with the new weapons. My current ideas are probably going to be something like a helicopter or a walker flyer, like Moop here, or perhaps just just a very standard mech, very heavily shielded, very heavily armoured, so that it can act as a bit of ground artillery. One of these three choices are probably going to be what I end up building in the future, so for today we're just going to do a bit of testing, seeing how each one of them handles in the team deathmatch, and I would also just like to see how much insanity is currently going on, with everyone very much likely using the missile launchers as well. So to begin, let's use Moop, let's get straight into a team deathmatch, and let's see how we do. And so, the first battle using the missile launchers begins. Here's hoping that the walker choice was a good choice. I can only imagine with so many people currently using missiles, being able to duck very easily behind cover is probably something very, very good. So very agile helicopters and walkers are currently the two things which I think will work the best, at least with my very limited knowledge of the missile launchers. And let's say hello to their Mega, there we go. And then duck away again. Oh, all of them hitting a lot of damage, especially considering that was a Mega we was at hitting. And lose the second volley. Now we do actually get a symbol pop up if we are currently being locked on by a missile launcher. So we should be able to duck very easily upon seeing that. Ooh, actually this is good. If I hide at this angle, I can start getting the lock before I actually pop out. Now, sadly, we do actually have to see the target quite well to get the lock, so... Release the volley and hit the target several times. Wonderful. And a spy when we can. Take that, Megabot! Not as much damage as I would expect, but honestly I like that. I don't like the, I don't like the idea of the missiles being really, really devastating, especially with the lock-on feature. Oh, Plasma from... I actually don't know. Where is that guy? Either way, I, I do want to heal up. I'm not going to stick my head out just yet. I have no idea where that Plasma just came from, so well done him for being able to hide. I think it's that, but I'm not sure. No, that's a piece of terrain. There he is. Okay, he was just out of our line our range of sight. So we are going to fly for this. And there we are. Release the missiles. Oh, that looks like it hurt. Take that, Tesseract. He's in there somewhere. But where? There he is. Thank you for shooting. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful. Taking out a Tesseract with missiles is indeed a very beautiful thing. Yeah, I really, really like the idea of a walker doing this. Still think a helicopter's probably better, or perhaps even a fast drone like a Tesseract might be able to use missiles well. But for now, this is more my type of play, especially considering Moop used to be a railbot, so it's actually built for this type of play. Just now, it has more explosives. Ooh, 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 that looks painful. Oh, that one missile trying desperately to do a little turn around there. Can't see the guy, there he is. Not, we're not really in the best position here. Too many things blocking our line of sight. Oh, blind missiles. Oh, no, just, just missiles trying to turn around a different target and almost hitting us. Okay, I'm going to jump down here so that I can duck behind the cave just as we shoot our shots. Ow. Two, three, and missile launch again. Killing him. Excellent. This is bad. Can't fly right now. Also got a lock on from another target. Ow! Okay, missiles do a lot of damage. I underestimated them at first. Just going to blind fire. He's close enough to m mostly hit a few hits there. Oh, oh. Haven't lost our gun just yet. Nope, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're in a really bad position. We need to knock out his gun. Sadly defeated by missiles. Well, a pretty well-rounded match, at least. Almost taking out his gun. Look at how much damage that took. Only a couple of SMG shots to finish it off. But still, we got two kills. We did quite a bit of damage. In fact, second in damage. I'm really happy with that. 
Let's try again with the walker. Second battle using Moop, the missile version. Let's see how this one goes. After such a good first battle, even if it did end in our destruction, I'm just hoping this will go just as well. Now, I could have flew to here, I admit. I don't quite know why I slowly walked up here, but even so. Here we are in quite a good position. Changing targets because there's no chance of those actually hitting. Didn't quite, have the, didn't quite have the lock there, but I really wanted to do a bit of blind firing with them all stuck together. And we are completely surrounded by our allies, who, I'm sure, totally won't get in our way. Okay, that guy's pretty hurt. If these hit him, we could very easily get the kill here. Oh, a lot of hits there. Oh, a ridiculous amount of damage done, but it's time for us to back off. We are being locked on there at the very end, started making the noise. A lot more missiles in this battle. Okay, enemy's got a lock on, so let's move back. And his missiles simply hit here very harmlessly. Ow. Oh, hello, SMG. He's hoping they don't hit that rock. Ah, oh, of course they do. What are we being hit by? Missiles? I wasn't locked on. Don't quite know what hit us there, honestly. Either way, we're about to start healing, so let's just stay back if we can. Release a volley, move back. Got him. Several hits, okay. Our team isn't looking too good. I can I am foreseeing our destruction, honestly. On the upside, that's going to hurt him a lot. Yes indeed it did. Didn't quite have the full volley ready there, but still. I find that blind firing, even close range, seems really inefficient with the missiles. They just do not go in a straight line very well. Which I guess is the whole point. Well, we've still got a lock at least, so just keep on firing. Oh, destroyed again by missiles, but we did get the kill against that other flyer, so we still got a lot of damage done. Being destroyed each time, but doing a lot of damage and being very high in the scoreboard. I am really happy with those two experiments, despite our death coming to us. So let's swap out to a different type of bot, perhaps the mech, and see how that does. I think a helicopter pretty much speaks for itself with the idea of being able to duck very easily, but how about a mech's ability to jump? Is that good? Is it worthwhile? Let's have a quick test. And so begins the test of the mech legs using the missile launcher. So there's a flyer there, so hopefully if he doesn't get down fast enough, this will do a lot of damage, particularly from the angle we were firing. And most of them hit, which is very nice. We're not currently locked on, so jumping seems fine, and then just duck back. Ooh, a lot of damage done there. We are still locked on, but sadly he has got out of the way. Being locked on, not really too scared of that though, and fire another volley from that angle, hopefully going over that cliff. Yes, lovely, showing us why the jumping element is actually quite good for the missile launchers. I don't know why I said that, like people wouldn't believe it is good. I think mechs are definitely one of the obvious choices, honestly. Along with very quick drones and helicopters, that type of thing. Didn't realise I was locked into then. That was a bit of an issue. Need to pay a bit more attention to that. Oh, one of the enemies just died at the back there, that was good. Don't really want to jump just right now because we was in range of a lot of shots if we did that. I keep on thinking I have to wait until the full thing is reloaded, which of course isn't the case. No kills for us, but I feel like we helped. We did a fair bit of damage. I do like being able to jump and fire, I must say. Getting used to how fast that you stop tracking a target, though, is... 
quite a lengthy process. Any reason why our mech isn't killing that guy? That is some serious block spam. And showing us how little damage the missiles actually do in terms of just pure DPS here. Wow. Just wow. That took forever. One enemy left with two kills. Hopefully we'll find and finish him off. I'll just go ahead to their base and see if we can cap. There he is. Okay, he is, a, he is indeed a missile bot. I'll let our team try and deal with him. Um, I think me capping is probably the better idea here. Tried to spot for the team, but sadly out of range. It is kind of scary though that drones are actually really good with missile launchers. Considering this was meant to be the anti-drone weapon, that's kind of terrifying honestly. Now he was just down there, so likely he's going to come up here. Nope, returning to the mothership. Can't exactly blame him. Not the best there. Three assists, decent bit of damage in the top 50%. Let's do another mech battle. Same map, different side. Let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. Although we didn't die, which was certainly a very nice change from this episode, I would like to be able to do a little bit more damage than that. A bit too passive last time. That is going to hurt him a lot, and we managed to jump out of almost all of that plasma, avoiding a lot of damage there. Keep firing, come on, one of the missiles must get the kill, and... Oh, we didn't get the killing blow, but so much damage done. What a shame. Okay, locking on, and missiles away. A lot of very suicidal helicopters are on the, on the enemy side team this time. That was so difficult for me to say, it was unbelievable. I wonder what that sounded like in the recording. Probably a lot of A's and H's. Don't know why I jumped there, considering that's flak, but I did want the good shot. Putting my health at risk there, just to try and do a bit more damage. Fair bit of damage done there to the enemy Mega, and a lot of the guns knocked off. Who needs two guns? People with guns which actually stack better when you have multiple. Oh wow, our Megabot then just caused me to lose the lock. That's amazing. There we are. Yes, we got the killing blow! Thank you, thank you so much enemy Mega. That makes me very happy indeed. Enemy over there, enemy over there. Oop, and there's an enemy somewhere over this side as well. Oop, controls are a bit funny there as well. That's not... Great. I feel like I'm going to just fall off this cliff on any second. Too far away to get a lock on either. Oh, he on the other hand. Gift! So many gifts. Uh, oh, some of them did hit. I was about to say none of them hit, but actually one just about made it at the end there. I'm more scared of him, honestly. There's no point in blind firing this weapon, it's so ridiculously in inaccurate when you fire it. Speaking is getting more and more difficult today, I think I'm going to take a nap in a little while. Oh, I lost lock twice then. And he just returned to Mothership, the last enemy using flak weapons. I'm going to jump, come on then, get some flak explosions on me. Show me your damage. And the killing blow. A much better battle. I'm actually really, really liking mechs for this. They're a bit more sturdy than the average walker flyer, and with the ability to jump and fire, you can get some ridiculously good angles. So, what are we going to try next? I think I might just get into one more battle with the mech, because honestly, at this stage, I think a mech is what I'm going to go for, at least for my first build, and it will actually look nice rather than looking like the Titan with the weapons chopped off and then reattached on the top. Simply being called Doopy Doo, which I've only just realised. 914,000 RP, I wish that was my victory of the day.
The final battle is now underway. Let's see if we can have one more good match just like the last one. To end this on a high point would be lovely. So, can we get a lock on him? We can, however, yeah, he's in the position where most of those are very likely to miss. There's also two rails on the enemy team, both camping that mountain at the moment. So we do need to be very aware of that. Spotted him, and release! Okay, enemy rail currently aiming at us. Let's back off a little bit. Don't really want to lose our guns this quickly. And once again, jump and fire. A lot of damage done there. Fantastic. Not quite sure who we're actually aiming at there. He was in the fog of war, but apparently we locked onto him, so that's fine. Oh, enemy rocket currently aiming at us. You there, okay. Let's try and get down as fast as we can. No, we're going to take the brunt of that there. Almost completely destroyed by a full six volley. That's going to be very annoying to actually try and get him there. And one more for good measure. The full six and one extra. For a second, we was being locked onto there, so that's a bit concerning. Not quite sure how they possibly got that angle. Not going to jump because we're now fighting against Flak. That would be a bit of a death sentence. I do like that it's so cumbersome to actually get the lock. It does mean that, that missiles are very counterable. Don't really want to jump, but the angle is going to be too perfect not to. Yeah, meant we was in the right of the rail and the flak and everything else, but we did almost kill the target, so definitely worth it. Oh, someone just there. Okay, then, you're going to get in the way of my missiles, apparently. And we got the kill because of it. I wonder then, is it a possible viable tactic for a team to have all of their bodies together so that when they constantly move around, the targets trying to get a lock get interrupted? Probably not since the missiles are an area of effects weapon, but even so. And we got the full missile lock, lock off there, fantastic. Thank you very much, Medic. I feel like rails are going to be the missile weapon's downfall. Particularly on bots that can get in and out of cover very quickly. Hello! Being locked on by him, let's get back a little bit. Sadly our medic did take one of the blows there. Haha, -ha, fool! Oh, our medic's going in aggressive. I've actually backed off to try and protect him, but apparently he's going, to, he's going to be the one who wants to fight. Let's get in the way of those rail shots. Don't want to lose our medic here. Oh, two flak fighting us. Okay, we got... Sorry, two missiles fighting us. We did, however, kill their flak. And do a fair bit of damage to him as well. Thank you, medic. Oh, no, the medic died! Oh, that medic was glorious. That enemy rail's been doing just the right thing as well. Can't begrudge someone for doing the right thing in a battle. Even if it is at your hindrance. Surprise! Did he just literally duck out the way that- what? Wow, the missile just would not lock onto him then. I swear though, that one shot was actually locked on and he ducked out of the way of the missile. That was wonderful. That rail is the MVP of the enemy team. Really well done by him. Get the lock and then release everything. Glorious.
A very nice end there indeed. I'm hoping that was the enemy rail, although I don't think it was. I'm really hoping it was because he deserves top place. He got my gun several times, he was doing the exact right things to do, and you've got to have respect for good plays, even if they are hurting you. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for what type of bot you think I should build in terms of what type of movement type for our new missiles, then please tell me in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Next time we'll test out different types of bots.